tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. Um, when I was seven years old, I had summer summer class in uh, Zamboanga. Mm. Then, yun, my dad pinasok niya ako sa Taekwondo nung una. Then, yung mga brothers ko sa karate. So, ang ending, boring ko kung sa taekwondo, wala akong kasama. So, nag ako into karate. Then, yun na, nagtuloy-tuloy. Summer class yun. Then, you know, when I was seven years old, yun yun. So, ako naman, I was six years old. And then, yung parents yes. ko, na-enroll po ako in different sports. So, I tried mga basketball, gymnastics, yeah. swimming, iba-iba po. And then, yeah. nag-try po kami ng karate for one summer. Tapos yung coaches ko po sa AAK in Mega Mall, they told me to continue, like, don't just do it for summer, mag-try ka mag-compete. Tapos nag-compete po ako, and it turned, parang nagtuloy-tuloy na po until I was really old. So, for my so whole life, it, like, sorry. Yeah. it started with summer class. Yeah, parang the yeah. summer program of Milo in the AAK. Yes, yes. Southeast Asia okay. Championship. Yeah. Uh, kasi... So, it's like a Turkey Grand Prix Championship. Um, oh, Turkey Jollibee, wow. So, sa sa CCAF, um, yun, ang mga naglalaro kasi doon, yun yung mga naglalaro sa SEA Games. Mm. So, um, so, if I'm preparing for SEA Games, kailangan manalo ako sa CCAF, which is, I need yeah. na bronze medal ako doon, bago mag CCAF. Pero yung pinaka, pinaka mahirap talaga na tournament para sa akin yung like at saka magandang experience sa akin yung world championship the past the last world championship and yung Shanghai China kasi I was able to to compete with ano with the world champion so that's okay. ano na pala so natalo ko pero ito si good experience kasi ang dami daming nangarap makatapat ng world champion yeah. then ako nakalaban ko and then we have a good fight then ayon then ngayon ko lang nare-realize na oh kahit pala tinalo ako ng mga world champion na yon yung mga nakalaban ko na yon ngayon nakikita ko na tinatalo ko naman yung, yung mga ibang hindi world champion so yeah uh, like you can compete ano, in their level yeah yeah, yeah. Um, kasi sa akin yeah. ano everything happens sa practice eh. like when it comes to the fight itself yun na yun eh. Parang konti na lang yung nagbabago. Like, so, na, since nag-prepare na kami ni, ano, like, I, I mean, sa practice, pinaghandaan naman talaga namin, hindi naman kami nag-petics, hindi naman kami nag-petics sa practice. Yeah. But I think sa laban, it feels like second nature na sa amin. Yes. Yeah. So, added factor yeah. na lang siguro yung pairing, kung sino kalaban mo first, the next bout, yeah. how to adjust. You watch some videos, analytics, you know. Yeah. But at the end of the day, every fight is the same. Parang since pag mas sikat lang yung kalaban mo, mas madaki kang um, pwedeng aralin about him. But every fight for me is the same lang. I think what's remarkable about you guys is that how uh, how often you represent the country in the global stage. Like, to go to countries like you, you guys mentioned, Turkey, Ukraine, France, you're about to go there. It's really notable parang how you represent the Philippines. Oh, it feels great po. I mean, siguro yung favorite moment ko po ever, like competing was mm. in SEA Games. The opening game. Like even though... Was that I, your first? Yeah, it was my first po. So ah, even okay. though nagko-compete kami abroad, um, iba pa rin yeah. po yung competing in an international tournament in the Philippines because parang yeah. Filipinos are there to support you. So, yung opening ceremonies, parang umiiyak po ako because of the support. Parang I was very overwhelmed. And yeah. um, na-play po yung national anthem nung nanalo po ako sa awarding. So, I felt oh, yeah. really great because it feels um, iba po talaga eh when you get to represent the country because we, yeah. I think all four of us, we really love like yung country namin and we love representing it yeah. and we're proud to yes. do that. To be, you know, to be part of the World Championship at makapaglaro uh, doon wearing the flag, the flag of the Philippines. Siyempre, um, isa yun sa, isa yun sa pinaka una namin iniisip eh na, na we are doing this, we are doing this, we are fighting not for ourselves eh. So, yeah. because of the, so, 
laging laging kung ano yung magiging per- per- performance namin lagi na laging laging para sa mga Filipinos na nandito mga kababayan so lagi mong iniisip na kailangan manalo kailangan galingan mo kasi kung ano yung performance mo ganun ang tingin nila sa bansa mo ganun so yeah. so so yun yeah. uh, I think all I think the the four of us no uh, we are here not for ano not for fame no we are here for ano we are here to help the, well, the country sa ganitong paraan sa pagkakarate I think ito yung, yung kaya namin ano and hoping soon na ma-qualify kaming kami and and next time interview niyo kami kung paano namin i-share yung blessing na oh wow yes. <laughs> yes yes yeah uh this question I'd like to throw to all of you Uh, you guys had different journeys to karate, syempre. But what are siguro the top three values? Yeah, nag ano eh, nag-start siya sa martial arts, so primary discipline. Yeah, that's the in yung pinakauna. Primary discipline. And um, so sa competition naman, yeah. nobility. Parang anong edge mo sa kalaban, ano yung paano ka mananalo. So you're, you're finding ways, new ways. And then yung pangatlo siguro obedience, yung pagsunod syempre. Um, the coaches may hierarchy ng ano ng um mm-hmm. ng may coach, mayroong seniors, mayroong mas mababa sa iyo. So alamin mo yung, yung status yeah. dun sa Sa akin ano not Uh, pwede na rin asa natin, pero more on karate. Um, sa akin talaga, ang pinaka-lesson sa akin is consistency. Like, kasi I've been since five years old. Tapos, parang, ano, nag- I had some time na I went into hiatus. Parang nag-stop yeah. for a year or two. Tapos, yeah. uh, my longest ata was four years. Tapos, every time I came back, parang kasi before I stop, yung feeling ko is parang all-time high na I, I'm unbeatable, ganyan. Yeah. Tapos, every time I come back, I lose. Tapos, uh, it takes a while for me to to regain my skills, like how to how to win again. So, sa akin, big importance yung consistency. Like, um, siguro in everything you do, para magka- makakuha ka din ng consistent results. So, yun nga. Consistency lang talaga in what you do. Yes. Consistent na ano ha, good work, hindi consistent na relax. Mediocre, yeah. So, more on like uh, getting better every single day. Ganun. Also, um, being, I think I'm very grateful po for all the help that I got like to get there. Yeah. Like, siguro to focus on yung SEA Games um, goal. Um, I, I didn't do it alone. As in for sure, I mm. was po ako ng coaches of Karate Filipinas. Like I had to believe in their process for me to be able to yeah. um, achieve that. And al- also my teammates, as in silang tatlo po, they were helping me so much throughout. Yeah. Because I was having a hard time after stopping for four years po. Yeah, so I needed for sure. That, yeah. I needed that encouragement, that help po during training. So yeah. like with the three of them, they were really helping me out and I needed that help po. And then also yung family because it was difficult like the training was hard so every time every time I went home po I needed the love and support ng family so I was I'm grateful for that po na all together that helped me get to where yung pinaka lesson talaga na natutunan ko is uh, love your teammates okay um, yeah tapos uh kasi um kasi dati ah uh, hindi parang tawag dyan, dati hindi ako masyadong hindi ko masyadong iniisip yung teammates ko kasi naka-focus ako dun sa sarili kong goal so parang ngayon sabi ko parang may kulang talaga dun sa hindi ko na lagi akong bronze hindi ko na achieve yung goal so parang feeling ko I need to to ano yung lalong yung kaming apat na parang uh, parang magmahalan kami as what tapos tapos magtulungan ko na eh, you know, na walang bad vibes. So, parang, yeah. parang yun, yun ang pinaka-lesson na tutunan ko na, na kailangan ganun yung mag-a-hatter ko. So, kasi ano ako eh, parang masyado akong, uh, I'm, 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 I'm a emotional person, ganun. Yeah. Tapos, um, yun, isa pa yun, kailangan ko siyang mag-controlin. 
Um, yun talaga. Kasi yung technique naman, and ano, kaya naman talaga siya. Madali siyang i-train eh. Di ba? Pero, yung character mo as a person, as an athlete, I think, ano, dapat siyang ma-improve at malinaw sa'yo. Sa yeah. akin, nga sa'yo yun. Uh, first of all, gusto kong maging part ng national team. Yun lang. Ah, uh, Alas sa library namin sa school, dapat nag-aaral ako, pero ang ginagawa ko sa computer, sinesearch ko yung mga picture ng mga national athlete, nitinan ko ng karate. Yeah. Sabi ko, oh, sana maging ganito ako balang araw. Then, hmm. yun, siyempre, to be a, ano, to be a world champion. Yun, yun. I'm not, I'm not, no, I'm not doing this, I'm not doing this if, if ayaw kong maging world champion. Yun ang goal ko. So, andito ako ngayon to be para maging world champion, hindi para lang maging SEA Games gold medalist or ano. Yes. So, yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah. I'm sure that's the highest. Yeah. And with the How help of I... this ano, with the help with the help of the NSA, Karate Pilipinas. So, yes. parang sa nakatatlong federation na ako eh, pero I can say na Karate Pilipinas is the best eh kasi uh isipin mo umabot kami sa ganitong level na na hindi 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 nila hindi nila pinagkakait sa amin kung anong anong dapat at kung anong paraan para maging world champion kami so sinusuportahan nila kami so it's not possible it's not, it's not impossible na na maging may maging world champion sa amin paunahan nila kami <laughs> because, because of this NSA Karate Pilipinas yeah yung yung karate sa Pilipinas uh the grow and i think we should not stop growing until mm. ano diba hanggang sa makita ng makita ng malaman ng mamamayan na ang karate ay isang discipline sport na na yeah. which anak na pwede na pwede na pwede rin nilang um uh, maging career sa buhay nila na pwede silang kumita, pwede ng ikapubuhay ng family nila. Um, same like same like my other batchmates from Zamboanga, sila Heidi Lynn Diaz, sila yeah. Jimmy Marshall, yan mga yan. Um, wala dati, ano lang yan eh, dati naglalaro lang kami ng mga patang pinoy together, tapos ayun, nakita ko sila na... First of all, yung ano, Olympic, this Olympic opportunity, Um, I think it's big for karate. Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah. For, not, not That's the first the time, no? Karate yeah, is in the Olympics. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Because yeah. usually, it's more known for the Taekwondo. Like, it's more known, especially in the Philippines. Yeah. But now na like we're there too, um, it gives a better um, impression. Or parang mas kilala na po siya. So, I'm I'm just hoping na parang young kids will be more inspired to go into karate and yeah. try it out as well. Because lahat po kami super grateful for being Um, exposed to karate, like it's a big part of our lives, and we learn yeah. so much. So, sana lang a lot of kids would want to try it also. Because sa amin, we started at a very young age, eh. so yeah. olip, wala pang Olympics, nagkakarate na kami. So, hmm. kahit may tournament or wala, nagkakarate kami. So, for us, karate has been a way of life. I mean, not yeah. necessarily now we're punching and kicking every day, pero in our daily yeah. aspects of our lives, we've been employing karate, ano, uh, karate, our karate. So, sa akin, kahit um, during this pandemic times, parang tuloy-tuloy pa rin yung karate sa buhay. So, kasi yeah. it's a physical in a way of life no, for us. We've been doing it more than half of our lives. So, um, parang what's the point of stopping diba? parang when you yeah. have it i think your goal nung una malaking tulong yung team tapos may coaches may teammate tapos yung pinakamahalaga is yung goal so pag pag may goal kahit anong mangyari despite or may harang or may mahirap kung goal delivery yung delivery yung gusto mong marating so kahit ano pa mang hirap or challenges Was that my goal? Yes. Yeah. I hope that people consider karate and actually take a look at it because um it's not really known and I know na parang mas favored other more famous sports like basketball, yeah. 
volleyball. Yeah. But um, maraming different sports na magagaling yung Filipino. So, um, I hope you give karate a chance and check it out. So, we just want to thank um, yung Karate Pilipinas because um, they re- our NSA, they're really doing a good job in taking mm-hmm. care of us and making, supporting us giving us the proper training and training programs. And also, shout out po pala sa Atletang Filipino because it's an mm. organization that um, and that wants to support yung mga grassroots na athletes to all, to becoming Olympic hopeful. So, yun, Atletang Filipino and Karate Filipinas. Thank you. Yeah, please, I'm passionate about what you're doing. Keep doing it. Tapos, mm-hmm. um, when it comes to Karate, I think it is for everyone. Not only na hindi naman lahat gusto makapasok. <clears throat> Fix, maging competitive, pero at the same time, it keeps you physically fit and then allows you to learn about basic self-defense. So, it's a good, um, not a skill, it's a good um, part to put in your life. So, sa akin, uh, I'm encouraging everyone to to try karate and then if you, ano, and and then also if you want to continue it just do it uh, um keep dreaming keep yeah. keep doing syempre kung mahal niyo sport di tuloy-tuloy lang mm. so yun, keep keep dreaming yes. one thing keep. we can all learn from today's show is that millennials have the capability to impact the country's sports fabric or in short uh karate in general uh, in this case, our karate athletes mentioned values such as discipline. Well, some of the values they had mentioned. The importance of discipline, preparedness, camaraderie, team spirit. These are all these are all values that help them prosper, not just in sports, but in life as well. Because you can apply these values in and outside of the court. This is these are all import significant things that we learn competing and like these karate athletes, they compete and represent flag uh, globally and here as well in the SEA Games. So the values that they pick up are very important and that's why sports is super, uh, it's great to encourage sports to those around you because it really helps, it really helps you pick up values and things that you can apply in your daily life. Stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on V81 Radio, Manila.